How are you? Good evening. It might be the next day. It is. It's just after midnight. I'm awake. Long day. Thank you for all your thoughts. Thank you for all your prayers. Before I go to sleep, i got to have my reverse age. And then we're going to bring you the intel. My take on everything that went on today with the Iraqi dinar. I was shocked when I, did my, when I finally got a chance to take a break. Okay, so full scoop of reverse age. Empty stomach before bed. Best primo time to take it. And you know, always water first, powder second. But then you can get through them. Take it up. And then you... Drink it. I'm going to turn up the volume on this because my husband's sleeping. He's got to work tomorrow. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite products. Always add water. Drink the rest. I don't like to waste anything. I'm the frugal girl, you know. I always add water, <coughs> swish it around, get it all. Just so you know, this product, I don't think it really affects your fasting window. It's like 60 calories. So I don't think it affects your fasting window, just so you know. That's my take on it. But I think it'll be done for you as you have believed. So you believe what you want. That's my reverse age. Ah, minute 47 in. Took my shake, made my shake. Simple. Relive is simple. And guys, you can do it as you go. Because this world is going nuts. And you got to make sure you secure your health. Because they're trying to scare the crap out of you. And we're going to talk about that. What are they saying about the intel? I saw a video from Nader. Love Nader. Love Nader. Um, but again, guys, faith is a substance that's seen hope for it, but not yet seen it. There's a lot of infighting, which always goes on because they want, they, 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 the real power that be, the real powers controlling the show, the dealio, the wicked ones, they want us fighting. They want us disagreeing. I'm never going to do that. I love Nader. I love the Mission Man. I like Mark Z. I love Frank. I love that he's doing reports, I think still from Israel. I didn't listen to his because I just didn't have, to, so I don't have so much time. So I'm here giving you my update because I promised you that I would keep you updated. So I'm giving my two cents. I think Militia Man and crew, he's got a crew. I'm so happy for him. He has a crew. He has a crew. Only 49 videos. He's bringing great intel. Right? He just surpassed me in subscribers. I'm like, yay! Good! Glad I was, I was with my, oh, I don't need my reading glasses tonight. Why? I took my contacts out already. My eyes need a break. Okay, guys, what do I have for you? The Bible study today that I'm just going to tell everybody is Job 11, 17 to 19. I wrote it down right here with a happy sticker. God gave it to me on my way to pick up my horses. I'm going to do that for my members only, but you can read it for yourself. It's Job 11, 17 to 19. I read from the Amplified Bible, but... Ooh, Jeremiah 30, 17, for I will restore health to you and I will heal your wounds, says the Lord, because you have called because they have called you outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no one seeks after and for whom no one cares. They think they think no one cares about us. We're Zion. Do you know who Zion is? Anytime you see Zion refers to, it's praise. It's the people that praise. It's the people that that love the King of Kings, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. He's the one that called me to the dinar. He's the one who told me the dinar is done. So I know that no devil in hell, no weapon on earth can keep this from happening. Um, you should watch Militia Man's broadcast. He was talking all about this. Nader was like, um, you know, the administration should stay out of why did they extend the thing? What have we done to you? You know, so he was reacting as he should, as a countryman, of, as a citizen of that country. He should react that way. Right? Because we are making, we, we, not the citizens, the administration is making enemies of a lot of people right now. I'm just saying. That's the truth. That's the facts. Where's the optimism? God is in control. 
not this wicked administration. I'm telling you, God is in control. And when God says it's done, you have to prove whether or not you believe it. You can weigh everything against what the God has revealed in his word, or you can believe what the world says. That is your choice. I'm here to remind you what God told me, which it is done. So don't listen to any of the naysayers. Guys, there's lots of facts out there that will controvert the word of God. The word of God over my life is it is done. It is my restoration season. You would not believe the favor that was over those horses and, and favor. The, uh, miraculous day today. Very tiring day. When the, when the blessings are chasing you down in the streets, you get a little tired. But I'm still here to help all of y'all that may not feel like the blessings are chasing you down the streets, right? But they are. They are. They're here. Just forget the naysayers. But other than faith, I'm going to go to the summary and I'm going to do what I normally do, which is bring you the summary. So, Mark had an evening report, and it's already here. Thank you, God. Oh, they just... I don't know. It says, economic collapse will be the most inclusive and equitable in history. <laughs> it had a picture of the administration's leader. <laughs> Not mine. The administration's leader. <laughs> uh, Bruce's big call. Uh, let's see. That was from last night. Welcome, everybody. It's Tuesday, May 16th. Yep, yep. He's they're reaching what they're reaches twenty to thirty million people around the world globe. That's pretty good. He's bringing up just two or three things. Number one, and then, by the way, this is not my intel. I bring the King of Kings who says the RV is done. So hang on, don't sell it. Wait, 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 wait. Um, number one, and this was blowing my mind when I was hearing about it. Uh, is there something more from Iraq? Really? This is what we're hearing. Just got a little bit more, so it's good timing, I guess, for what we're waiting on. It appears that you know how we have held the rocks and billing for time. I'm going to say months, if not years. They've been kind of ready, and then they were not ready, and then they were ready, and then we want something else, and then we ask them for something else. Well, let me put it this way. This is convenient and inconvenient truth. This is something that's happening tomorrow morning in Iraq. They're going to expose their budget like we care. They're going to open the budget which will have their newest newest rate in the budget for 2023 and their HEL law. Really? Hydrocarbon law? Really? Don't get me started on this, you guys, but that's supposed to be brought out in the morning in Iraq. This is just a game that we've been playing with Iraq. It's power play. Okay, you can go now. You can go now. Yes, you can. No, you can't. That's what it's been like. Um, and okay, so you got that little shell game going on in one corner of the room, and then you hear later in the afternoon, I mean later this evening we got this, that the UN confirmed from three separate sources so far that its treasury has released the codes to Wells Fargo at around 5 o'clock this afternoon Eastern Time. And that would allow everything to move forward from the Wells Fargo Redemption Center point of view. So treasury sent the release codes to Wells Fargo, and now the RV for the United States is theoretically in motion. We can say in motion here. This is Bruce. He always calls it, but just hang on. The last piece of information I got was that the release algorithms were let go about two hours ago, and I'm not quite sure how that plays into it, but I know that we do use algorithms to discern when the best time for the release of the numbers and emails, the bondholders, I can talk about algorithms. The toll-free number can call and set appointments. All right, let's get to the bottom of it. It appears the bottom line is that things have started from Treasury, the Wells Fargo. It should be coming out to us in some timeline. Probably, I would say, by some time after noon tomorrow we could see these 800 numbers coming to us by mail now you know i have a different perspective on that but this is how most people believe not ninja clients most people they're looking for the 800 numbers and he said now the other reason he's got the time frame in mind is after iraq does their thing tomorrow we were told that we'd be receiving our notifications he goes this is a theory i had a long time ago you guys remember it i believe that whatever time they come out eastern time zone that's, let's just say it happens at 1030 in the morning, for example, this is for, whatever, he's so wordy. Okay, that's, uh, whatever. Not a whole lot to talk about. He's saying, um, he's talking about the dorm report. I don't know. I don't like to get into that. Because he's not on the UB2B, so... That was that's how Frank says it, the UB two B. Um I, I'm just going down here to see what this summary says so I can bring you some worldly stuff. This is three D stuff, not not the King of Kings stuff. This is the worldly stuff. Um Iraq's 
Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister has reportedly said he supports a floating exchange rate for the Iraqi currency, the dinar. He also reported that the Central Bank of Iraq intervenes from time to time to keep the dinar within the limits of 5% plus or minus, adding the exchange rate is not as sacred as it used to be. Fixing the rate leads to the accumulation of economic problems and the explosion later. Frank 26. They say now we are banned from using the dollar here and we will be held accountable if we use the dollar in any way. They're de-dollarizing, guys, and they are banning it in Iraq. So Firefly, I went to go see my bank friend. He said in his opinion we should see a rate just prior to the budget being opened. It makes more sense if he had to do it before or why they, either way it's coming to us. Frank said yes and my, and my palm is itching. Right? Which means money's coming. Money's coming. It's all good guys. Don't worry. Yes it's coming. The problem is we don't know exactly when. Of course we don't know when. It looks like it's very soon. In his opinion, he is absolutely correct. Either before or during or after. The key is it's coming. And then there was an article, the government eliminates the hopes of speculators with its new procedures regarding the circulation of the dollar. They're doing a lot of making sure the U.S. dollar is still not circulating in Iraq. Let's put it that way. This, the Central Bank of Iraq says the American dollar is no longer welcome in Iraq <laughs> because they now have their own national currency to be introduced. Thank you for the Marshall Plan. Just saying. What do you think about that? Comment down below. What do you think? Do you think this is good news? I think this is all good news, guys. Uh, plus, again, I got my king of king bringing me, my king of kings, bringing my husband and I two of the most incredible, beautiful, <laughs> huge horses that make me look small. I was like, I look tiny next to that horse. It's because the king of kings is promoting us all, guys. You are royalty in the kingdom. Get your crown. I feel like I had my crown on today, and it was like above and beyond all that I could ever hope, ask, or think. I can't even begin to see. Maybe tomorrow I'll come live from the barn and show you how good God is and what happened to me yesterday. But for now, I'm just doing the intel. Check out my live tomorrow. I might be coming from the barn. I haven't decided. I don't know. It's up to God. Guys, we're just waiting to go to the bank. If you've done your homework, you know exactly where you're going, right? If you haven't done your homework, you still can do your homework. You have time. Thank God for the glories of time. Oh, guys, it's so good. They're de-dollarizing. Uh, just, oh, so good. So much good information. So now, 12 minutes in, should I stop there? Yep, I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to do my Bible study. So if you're a member, check out my members-only Bible study content. This is free. The lives in the morning are free. There's 2,100 videos on here, mostly free. Members-only just started not too long ago. Y'all know if you were a part of the, the, the private Zoom for the members-only, the ones at the Miracle Manifestation membership level, because uh, we're manifesting this. That's why we're all getting together, and we're talking about the truth with facts and the optimism and how you can still be free no matter what happens here. No matter what happens here. No matter what happens in this great, once great, prosperous nation that has been the right? Doesn't matter, right? The fact that they extended that thing is, is a reaction to the fact they're banning the US dollar in Iraq. Do you think they like that? No. The narcissism, the ego is just rampant and God is spanking them. God is spanking the U.S. right now, but not the chosen ones. So, <laughs> God is causing the Iraq to revalue their currency. I don't know if they're joining BRICS. There's been talk that they're joining BRICS, but with the with the, you know Potato Head extending the thirteen three zero three, which is that they're still a you know they're trying to ra rattle their sabers. Their saber is not a saber. Potato Head is wielding like a a plastic potato head, Mr. Potato Head. I, all I think is they put, they stuck the ears in, you could stick on different noses and stuff. Potato Head. <laughs> it's nothing. Iraq and the Central Bank of Iraq is preparing to do this. And remember when Kuwait revalued it? They said it wasn't going to happen for years and it re revalued the next day. So, positive vibes only. And take a look at my horse videos. Look at all the favor. Look in the chat. Look in the di look in the chat when we're live. All the blessings that God is bringing. This is an open heaven, and I'm glad you're here. God bless you. Peace be unto you. Let you sleep peacefully. Whenever you watch this, I hope you'll comment down below if you're feeling blessed. Seven seven seven. If you're one of those people that's up a lot at night, I hope you see this and, and you sleep sweetly, because I only bring true facts and optimism here. Why? 
because the King of Kings says it's done. He got me into this June of 2012, and it's my restoration season, and it's your restoration season. In fact, the Bible study word is from Job today. <laughs> he brought it to me while I was on the, the, we drove a lot today. I'm tired, so keep me in your prayers so I get up and get out to the barn so I could go live. Um, but it was on the way to the barn, and I got this little, like, get this little happy sticker. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. God bless you. I can't wait to see you on the live. Can't wait till you meet my babies. My, my, my addition to my fur baby kingdom, right? I just went from two fur babies that are dogs to adding two fur babies. We doubled the size, double portion. Two rainbows this month, guys. The blessings are coming if you will receive them, right? If it doesn't come in through this, it's coming in other ways. Trust me, the blessings are coming. God has promised it. And for those of you who are members, you'll get, you'll get the word from Job. I'm going to do that next. God bless you. Bye. Love you so much. I love you with the love of Christ. Positive vibes only. If you're kingdom, you can only have positive vibes. Why? Joy of the Lord is your strength. That's why. You want to be strong? You're the joy of the Lord. If you want to be weak, just, just feed on what the world says. Right? And all the fear porn that's out there. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's all FUD. You can cast aside the FUD and just come here. If you have fear, come here. Amen. I'm glad you're here. God bless. Please subscribe, tap the bell. Love you. See you on the live sometime. Okay? God bless. Bye.